Okay, so this exercise is called urge surfing. So to begin with, just notice whatever your mind is doing right now. So it might be that you are in a position in which you have noticed an urge, a thought in your mind that tells you you have to do something. I must do this. Your mind might be trying to command you to perform an action. So just to begin with, just focus on your breath right now. So just breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. And as you do that, just ground yourself physically to the floor. So just connect with your feet and your shoes. Kind of just push them firmly into the ground, whether you're standing or sitting. Connect with your breath. So often what happens is our mind tells us that we need to do something. We have to do something. And if we don't do it, perhaps we experience discomfort or anxiety. So now just acknowledge whatever your mind's told you to do and see if you can sit back and observe the raw physical sensations in your body. Imagine that you are sat back on a beach, perhaps like a lifeguard sat in a tower observing the ocean and waves. See if you can just notice the rise and fall of the urge or physical sensation inside you. Pay particular attention to where in the body you feel this urge to act or do something. Perhaps you notice a heaviness or something in your chest. Perhaps there's an urge that's going on in your arms or your hands. So we're not trying to suppress this urge right now, just really trying to experience it fully. As if you're watching that wave, so perhaps it's rising, that feeling is moving around your body. Seeing if it reaches its crest. Notice if there's any change in the body. So use your breath to guide you as you do this. So not breathing deeply or heavily, just simply breathing into the nose and out through the mouth. And just breathing with the sensations and this urge. Just following it along observing it with a kind of curiosity. This, this urge or anxiety perhaps that you normally try to avoid or control. Just acknowledging now that it's not going to harm you in any way. It may feel unpleasant, that's okay. See if you can just allow it to be there as if you would if you were watching a wave from the ocean. Not trying to change it, simply allowing it to do its thing, to rise and to fall. And just notice what your mind's doing right now. Again, treating thoughts in exactly the same way, just allowing them to come and go, as if they were also bobbing up and down on this ocean. Is a part of you that can sit back and observe these things. Notice if the mind is continuing to tell you that you should, or you have to do something right now. Seeing if you can let those thoughts, along with any feelings, simply ride up and down. As you use your breath to guide you and steady you. Perhaps you notice now that the urge has subsided. We often feel like this urge reaches a peak and it will stay that way unless we act on whatever our mind has told us to do. 
So hopefully here you've experienced for yourself that this urge can go up and down. So now I invite you to practice this throughout the day. Each time you notice your mind telling you you have to do something, acknowledging that thought and seeing if you can practice using this urge surfing. So now just deciding what you're going to refocus yourself on in this moment. Plant your feet into the ground again. Look around the room, reconnect with your sense of vision and what's around you. Grab onto something or squeeze your hands together. And ask yourself, what do I need to do in this moment? What's important to me? And then move on hopefully avoiding that temptation to act on the urge. And now finishing the exercise.